लेट सोल्व दिस गेट डी एस एंड ए आई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन गेट डी ए ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन गिवन द रिलेशन स्कीमा आर दिस रिलेशन स्कीमा इज गिवन टू यू द सेट ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज आर गिवन टू यू द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज कैन बी डिराइव फ्रॉम द अब सेट ओके दिस सेट ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज दिस विल इंप्लाई विच ऑफ दीज एफ डीज ओके विच ऑफ दीज एफ डीज कैन बी डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस सेट ऑफ एफ डीज सो दिस इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग so let's solve it this is very simple question tell me one thing if i give you this set of fd and i ask you can you derive option a let's take each option one by one okay let me focus on option a now from this set of fds can i derive this fd then what you will do then what you are going to do how to solve it very simple see basically we want to ask that in this set of fds okay can vw determine Y Z yes or no? The question is asking that in this set of FDs, can V W determine Y Z? So what you are going to check? You will check that in this set of FDs, you will check what V W can determine. Yes or no? Okay. In this, you check what V W can determine. If V W can determine Y Z, okay. If V W can determine Y Z, then I can say that this F D is derived from this F D set. Yes or no? From these FDs, I can derive this functional dependency. Very simple point. Yes or no? So this is the concept. Now you apply this concept. Okay. So let's see. In this, tell me what V VW can determine. Basically, in this FD set, this is your FD set. In this, you find what is VW closure. Tell me what VW closure is. What is VW closure? You can see VW can determine VW by reflexivity. Okay. so vw can de determine vw next you can see what else you can derive see we we can de derive x yes or no this v this can derive x okay so we can derive x now these vwx what they can derive you can see wx this wx this can derive y yes or no this can derive y okay next you can see wx can derive z wx can derive z now can i stop i want to check option a can i stop yes i can stop because you can see okay what we have seen we have seen that in this fd set in this fd set you can see that vw determines yz yes or no is this clear we got it we got this you can see that vw determines yz okay so i can say that from this fd set you can derive this fd so this is definitely correct okay so we can derive this fd is this clear but of course if you want you can find the complete vw plus tell me what is the complete closure of vw so you can see you got vw xyz what else you can determine vw xyz so vw xyz what else you can determine that's it yes or no nothing else that's it so very simple i can say that vw can determine yw yz sorry this is yz okay so option a that is definitely correct what about option b let's check option b tell me about option b see the question is asking can this fd be derived from this fd set okay so what you will do you will find out that in this set of functional dependency what wx will determine yes or no you will check what wx will determine if wx determines yz if wx determines yz then i can say that this functional dependency can be derived from the above set yes or no so very simple what you will do you will find what is the closure of wx okay so let's find out the closure of wx that will be what let's see wx can determine wx by reflexivity so wx this can determine wx what else you can see wx can determine z also okay now wxz what they can determine you can see wx wx can determine y also okay y also can i stop can i stop right now yes i can stop because i got yz i got yz means from this set of fds i got wx determines yz okay yes or no so definitely i can say that this option b can be derived okay but anyway you tell me the complete closure of wx what are the complete closure of wx so wx can determine wx z y okay anything else nothing else yes or no that's it okay now let's move on let's check option number c what about option number c tell me 
for this option number c what you will do in this given set of fds you will find vw closer okay let's find what vw can determine in this given set of fds what this vw can determine okay so vw closer that will be vw now you can see v can determine x okay v can determine x next you can see vwx what they can determine see wx can determine this wx the wx can determine z comma y okay z comma y yes or no so that's it now finally you can easily see that we cannot determine u yes or no yes or no so from here you can see that vw does not determine u okay vw cannot determine u okay so that is the reason i can say this cannot be derived so option c cannot be derived okay this cannot be derived from given fd set yes or no very simple from given fd set okay now what about this last one tell me about this option d for option d what you will do in this fd set you will find what is the closure of vw okay the closure of vw that will be vw vw can determine vw next v can determine x next vwx what they can determine notice wx can determine y comma z okay wx can determine y comma z that's it nothing else so you can easily see that from this fd set from this fd set what we got we got this so vw can determine y yes or no so definitely this can be derived okay now finally what is the answer this is msq question let me tell you this is multi select question multiple options can be correct okay the question is asking which of the following functional dependencies can be derived from the set so the answer will be option a b d a b d okay is this clear so these type of questions are very easy if set of functional dependency is given to you and the question is asking which of the following functional dependency you can derive okay then what you will do very simple in this fd set you find the closure of the lhs yes or no only find the closure of the lhs and then you can easily see which fd can be derived from the given fd set okay very simple question